resources, especially the white-tailed deer, is a sustainable, renewable, natural resource that if harvested ethically, humanely, and brought back to our community as food, then we're doing what we're supposed to do. Farmers from the beginning of the time were heroes, fed the village, so did our hunters. And so, but this is what a backyard bow pro network looks like. We make connections in our community with our landowners and our property owners. Our hunters do what they do best. We bring that harvested venison back to food pantries, like this is Mana Food Bank, about 800 pounds to Mana Food Bank in Western North Carolina, and then they distribute it and do what they do out into the community. We, you all know CSA, everyone knows that. We talk about CSH, or Community Supported Hunting. So as we grew our chapter groups across the state, we look for people to fit into one of these categories, which is either food bank or food relief efforts. Meat processors are invaluable to what we do. Landowners and land controlling agencies and verified hunters and caring people. Uh, our mission is simple, to build social bridges within our community through education and involvement of the non-hunting community and the hunting community as well and address issues like safety, bike ethics, and we achieve this through education. These hunters have made not only a commitment, uh, an ethical commitment to us and our heritage uh, by, you know, as food providers, but also to your safety. And that's one of the ways we usually break the ice with communities to say, you know, sure, we've got um, a, a um, our, our goal is to bring food back to the community, but we've had your safety in mind long before we ever met you. Before we can ask you to get involved with something you may be unfamiliar with, we want to show you that. It's really our commitment to give back as food providers. Um, that sets us apart in the eyes of the unfamiliar non-hunting community. Uh, I, I don't want to burst anyone's bubble, but nine out of ten hunters are already doing what we're, we've packaged here. They are giving back to the community, and they are concerned with our wildlife and our heritage and concerned with food. But how are you going to ever know that unless we put it out in front of them? And then, uh, of course, like we said in the video, by allowing our hunters onto the property, landowners are finding that they can give back to the community in a way they never thought of, which is through meals. All you know, of these people here. met at a workshop that we did. Eric and his son worked with these two ladies on their property to harvest the deer that's in this cooler. Of course, Lindy's receiving it. Ellen, both previously anti-hunters, not just non-hunters, but really against it, really against it, came together they created, a, uh, organized a hunger walk in their community to raise money for processing. And the end result is certainly the meat in the cooler, but this relationship that you see goes on. Statistics, you know, we just continue to hear statistics on hunger in America, statistics on hunger in our community, in our county. We know people that are hungry today. The statistics on the availability of the sustainable natural resource is a white-tailed deer and other game in nature's and God's given plentiful pantry is a stamp, especially the white-tailed deer. There are no shortage of them. Anyway, I'll let you just say whatever you okay. want. Okay. Well, I am a avid anti-gun. I have been anti-hunting. I have thought it's barbaric. I have been converted. The ultimate organic sustainable food is what we hunt for. So I just am so excited about this project. It's a win for everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. That would just help us so much to hear oh, that I come from. I love it. I'm, I'm very excited. It's going to happen in Brevard. Well, we need to get